Folks, this is one of the most important videos we've ever done on the channel. We're not trying to be clickbaity. We're not trying to be hyperbolic. We're not trying to be sensational. None of that. We really do need you to watch this video. Lives are at stake. And we need to get the word out. Our community can do that. Because there's been, in our belief, our estimation, a very major, a very critical mistake. And that mistake needs to be corrected. It has to do with Disney. It has to do with National Geographic. We're not here to place blame at this time. We just need this fixed as fast as possible so lives can be saved. Hello folks and welcome to the Pro Channel. We have a very serious conversation to give you today. Uh, not the typical kind of fair here, but it's one that I promise you, you need to stick around and listen to every moment of. Not because of any kind of YouTube algorithm, not because we want to get clicks. This really, really matters. This has to do with people's lives, and we mean that. We're going to explain it in just a moment. Joining us today, we have Andrew of Legal Mindset, as well as, for the first time on the channel, Mark. And uh, Mark is here because Mark brought this to my attention, and uh, Mark has uh, military experience. And beyond that, Mark can uh, specify more if he wishes. But I, I felt it was important, given that Mark brought this to light, uh, at least to me, that he be here with us. Gentlemen, welcome to both of you. Yeah, welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Good to be here. Now, Andrew, can you, you, you covered this on your channel earlier. Yes. Can you give us just a, a very brief synopsis? And then ladies and gentlemen, we're going to watch a video. Uh, but, but Andrew, brief synopsis, please. Of what we're so, talking about. yes, uh, this was brought to my attention. I have many veterans on my channel and much in the same way. Someone brought this up to me and I was so incensed by it that I did an immediate video, an immediate kind of reaction to this, as well as putting up the information for the 1208 foundation, which is related to this issue. So it appears that during the time in Afghanistan, the time in which the U S was deployed in Afghanistan, um, there was a documentary filmed by Nat Geo and Disney, right? Disney had the ultimate oversight over this project. And during that time, they went out and filmed the faces of not just US Special Forces, but actually our Afghan allies. So all those folks that were out there collaborating with the United States. Well, after the fall of Afghanistan uh, and the this piece was published, and this was published knowing that the faces of the Afghans would be put out there, and that there would be retaliation. Well, ultimately, and unfortunately, there are members that were, um, well, let's say bad things happened to them. I want to be very careful in the algorithm, but very, very bad things happened, uh, including fatalities uh, regarding the exposure of their identity. So right. these folks that worked with the US, that were allies of the US, uh, they were exposed and there was issues. And so the veterans, the Green Berets that worked with these people, that, that viewed them as their, their partners, their brothers you know, in, in, in combat, right? they went and petitioned Congress because they are not, these Afghans are not US citizens. They cannot bring US legal claims. They don't have standing. The only way to do that is to, for a special act of Congress. So Congress has to act to give them a, re a remedy and redress this and to redress the gross negligence on the part of Disney in showing the identity of these folks and not making the call to protect them. And that's what brings us to today and this video. So to, to put this in very, very simple terms, uh, Disney and Nat Geo filmed a documentary there were folks out there who put everything on the line to help the United States. Those folks, many of them did not uh, leave Afghanistan due to the botched exit of that country. Correct. And then because the Walt Disney Company, apparently, and Nat Geo, apparently, chose for whatever reason not to blur their faces, uh, it was in quick order that those individuals could be absolutely figured out and eliminated by those who would cause them grave harm. And their end almost certainly came in a horrific way. And uh, frankly, I'm incensed. I mean, I, I really mean this. This is, we're not talking about Disney put in SJW stuff into a movie. We're not talking about they destroyed a franchise. We're talking about there were mistakes made here that have, to my knowledge, not yet been acknowledged by Disney or Nat Geo. But from my viewpoint, this destroyed lives, this destroyed families. And these were people who reached, they put their hand out uh, to us to help us. And so I, I find it just awful. Mark, before we play the video, your thoughts on what we've just said, and then we'll get into the uh, congressional testimony. Oh, sure thing. Thanks. Um, first thing, I, I 
this is a very important national security issue. So whenever U.S. forces or coalition forces go into foreign countries, we normally have to have the help of the people that are in that country that speak that language. Every war has this. The betrayal of trust and the and the breaking of that faith is, is a very, very serious thing. And we're doing it in Afghanistan. Uh, this uh, That small snippet at the 1208 Foundation is, if you go to the original link, it's really the House Foreign Affairs Committee testimony. And they're really talking about the uh, special immigration visas. Uh, from out of Afghanistan, about 148,000 people have applied. And most of these guys, especially the, the one from the 1208 Foundation, they just can't get them out. And these guys are literally were dying with, you know, instead of Americans, because they were, especially the, the 1208, they were part of the uh, uh, IED uh, removal group. So, I mean, it, it's a very serious thing. And, I mean, you, you just don't want to break faith like that. And it, they're also very concerned about the apathy in the government with this, because obviously there's, you know, a large immigration problem on our southern border, but we can't get Afghans who are actually dying next to Americans in the U.S. Um, it, it's a very good two hour video if you can if, if you can watch it, but I won't say any more. Yeah, and, and when that, it comes that's to a policy, very good. Yeah, go ahead. Andrew. I, I was just saying that's a very good juxtaposition for our current immigration policy and our current immigration law issue where someone can come to our southern border, just show up and have no background, no affiliation. In fact, they can come there for even nefarious purposes to undermine our country. And they are let in willingly. And we are not letting in people that were our allies and they were proven so over decades of very dangerous work. In fact, specifically, they talk about mind clearing. This is extraordinarily dangerous work. So they were putting their lives on the line every day for America and they're not let in. I mean, I think it's an absolute, it's an absolute travesty. Right, and, and from a policy standpoint, here on this channel, we don't take any official policy as to what should be going on with immigration. I have my, my strong viewpoints on this, but I will say that when it comes to entertainment and when it comes to the making of a documentary, the fact that I am giving right now, Mark, greater protection than apparently was afforded to people who put their lives absolutely on the line to help soldiers is reprehensible in ways that I can't, I can't even verbalize how disgusting this is that we couldn't take the time to blur their faces to protect them. It, 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 I just can't believe it. Uh, it it's despicable. But let's, let's watch the uh, testimony and I'm going to get live reaction. It's only one minute long. We'll hear what they have to say. And then I want to show you guys uh, a website that's also important. Here we go. This explosive device was the insurgent's weapon of choice in Afghanistan, responsible for some 55% of special forces deaths. To combat this threat, a unit of specially trained Afghans was formed to safeguard green rays like me. They were known as the National Mine Reduction Group, or NMRG. Some might ask, what made them volunteer for the most dangerous job in Afghanistan? I'll tell you that it was faith. Faith that the United States of America was honorable and moral would protect them in return for protecting us. And American leaders, civil and military, Democrat and Republican, were found faithless when it mattered the most. Many here are likely familiar with the uh, National Geographic's documentary Retrograde, which chronicles the final collapse of Afghanistan. No faces are blurred, no identity is concealed, whether American or Afghan. A creative decision approved by Disney and Nat Geo executives. And so, as Retrograde became a hit in Hollywood... So the, the documentary is Retrograde, is that correct, guys? Retrograde, yes. Is, is this still available on Disney Plus or any other streaming service? I wish I had Disney Plus to confirm. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll, we'll check in on that, folks. And in the description down below, we'll, we'll give you an answer on that. I don't have that at this time. Um, I, I really, really hope this is not still up for those who are still remaining, who have not been found by those who would do them harm as a result. Uh, Mark, can you talk a bit for uh, about the role that a company such as Disney has in safeguarding identities like is, is there any is there any legal system that covers this Andrew you weigh in as well is there any kind of uh, confidentiality any kind of uh, uh, special classification for revealing these people that, that Disney could get in trouble with or is, or can any company out there just go out there and reveal folks uh, and assets that that are important to the United States and to our national security I'll let Mark take the first crack at that one if he wants to <laughs> I can try. I, th I think when uh, the 1208 was talking, some of the other organizations, they were more focused on policy. And uh, so they didn't really hit Disney that hard, but they said, obviously somebody made a decision uh, at Disney and National Geographic, but it was probably backed up with some DOD policy guidance there too, I would think. But you, th you, think, this, this, you think this came in in collaboration with the DOD? Well, it would have to have 
had some DOD uh, cooperation to get on, at least on site on those bases or, or get the film somehow. I, I don't know how uh, the, movie, right. the movie was put together. Yeah, there, there's going to be, there's going to be, there's going to be, yeah, there's going to be a lot of inside baseball there and what happened. And obviously we're not going to have access to that publicly of every document. We don't have that discovery, right. As to what went on, what those interactions were between Disney and, um, and the, the brass to, to get permission to go to those bases, to get permission to film the permission to go where they went. Right. Obviously it's very possible. It is possible that they violated agreements and understandings. Right. So that seems to me like just, reasonably that that would be one of the requirements is if there's anything sensitive right to me it would seem that you would be required to either edit that out blur it whatever else obfuscate it right um why that didn't apply or maybe they viewed that as not applying to our afghan allies because maybe they viewed them as, as separate and apart right part of a separate apparatus so they didn't really have any duty to them right i i don't know i don't know as but, I, i'm re i'm really annoyed i um uh... I just looked this up. Uh, let me see if I can get this on the screen for everybody. I, I just looked this up, and apparently, Retrograde is in fact available on Disney Plus. Oh that, that really that really annoys me. It, uh, if that's available, I haven't clicked on it to find out, but it's a, it's showing on Google actively. If if it's as simple to find people and do them harm as going to Disney Plus to watch and get intelligence, that that's insanity. That's just flat out craziness. That that we can't take care of people better than this. I, I just maybe, maybe I'm, I'm just flabbergasted. I'm, I I really don't know how to even quantify into words how just lackluster this is and disregard for humanity. It's amazing, mm -hmm. and it, it's absolutely it's absolutely something that's just negligence to me. It's just insane negligence. It, the the amount of just lack of forethought of something that will lead to material harm. And it's obvious. It's completely obvious to anybody, particularly people who have been in these situations, you would think, oh yeah, no, you clearly have to do this because it's also about the whole thesis is about the final months in Afghanistan, right? You know, we, we put, we put an investigator on this to look and see if there's any response from Disney or from Nat Geo. We don't see that there's any response. Perhaps there is privately. We just don't know what it is. We can't find it, not saying that it doesn't exist, but we can't find it. But at the bare minimum, this has this has become an issue known publicly and being talked about in DC in the past week. At the least, you could take it off of Disney Plus now. I mean, this that's oh gosh. Okay, let's let's finish the video and then we'll we'll uh, have more conversation. Here we go. It became a hit list in Afghanistan. A hit list which the Taliban used to identify, abduct, torture, and kill one who my organization pledged to protect. A 21-year-old father named Omar. I hate that being an ally to the U.S. is such a thankless proposition. Will you let apathy damn them to the same fate as Omar? Or will you instead enforce the promises made to them who protected American soldiers? And um, here is the website for the 1208 Foundation. Uh, meet the team. Uh, Thomas Casa, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Gentlemen, do I have that right? Uh, Kaza, yeah, Kaza. Kaza. Um, right. I'm actually not going to scroll down through this. Uh, folks, the link is down below. We're not going to scroll mm -hmm. down through it. It's it's pictures of, of folks who are, in, who are participatory with 1208 and uh, uh, seems like a fantastic organization trying to do the right thing. But it's in the face of a corporation that may not have done the right thing. I'm not trying to throw aspersions at this point uh, when it comes to Disney and NetGeo. I'm honestly like... We're, we're not in the place right now to condemn or to adjudicate in the public sphere what they've done wrong. I, I'm just asking, okay, we know that Disney leadership watches and pays attention to the stuff we do. We, I'm not going to go into how we know that, but we know it. Disney, I, I'm asking you, will you please take this down off Disney Plus? This, this is a real problem. If there are people being hunted down, please take it off Disney Plus. Just, we, we can do that at a bare minimum. Uh, gentlemen, it, it, it's a brief one today. I think it's important. I do want to play one more video before we go, but let me let me get your thoughts on that. C can we get it off of Disney Plus? Is that a fair request? That, that's a, that's the, the bare minimum they could do is to is to pull this down at least till they resolve this, till they're able to bring it back and look, you know, obfuscate those faces, edit that. That's a very easy edit. That's not something that takes much time, you know, of their of their re giant resources of Nat Geo and, and Disney. I mean, come on, that's the minimum we can do for this. I, I can do that on YouTube in, in one hour if yeah. I have a guest who says, hey, by the way, my camera turned on and I'm supposed to be anonymous. 
We, we, we've done it before and we protect our sources. God, good golly. Can we not protect people whose lives? I mean, we're protecting people from being doxxed. Not that their lives no are going to be eliminated. Right. Yes. Come, well, comparatively. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right, right. Oh, comparatively, yes. <laughs> uh, all right, let's let's go now. I, I want to show this because this this really in in contrast. This is the video that Disney has put out in regards to their board decision. So instead of instead of the focus apparently being on fixing this immense problem, which is going to result in people being tortured and already has apparently. Here's what Disney is focused on. Bob Iger, CEO of the Walt Disney Company. Ahead of our upcoming annual meeting. I wanted to update you about the company's significant recent achievements and share why your vote this year is so important to Disney's future. From activist investors are exactly what we don't need. I'm urging you to vote for the Disney board's recommended slate of nominees on the white proxy card and not to vote for the nominees presented by these activist hedge funds. So this is what Disney is so concerned about is this vote. There, this is the second video they put out. Apparently, uh, Ludwig von Drake was not enough. Now Bob Iger's got to be there. But I, here's my assessment of this. Now, given what's just come out, and I, I don't want to use, I don't want to use the deaths of innocent people who who sacrificed everything for us as a vehicle to make a point here about the board. But I simply want to say that if so little oversight is happening inside the company that we can't do these very basic minimums of protecting individuals then I, I am for every opportunity to bring in additional oversight, countering voices, those who are not going to be, uh, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, every single time. We, we need people in there who can be opposing points of view. Gentlemen, I'll give you the final words. Uh, Mark, if you want to start uh, your thoughts on this as we wrap up. Sure. Uh, I, I think I'd raised a good point about accountability. The 1208 vi vi video was about accountability. And what are we lacking in Disney? Accountability for everything. And I'll close on that one. Yeah, I think that in the law, you try to make somebody whole. That's the, the, the remedy of the law. Frankly, there's no way to make this situation whole because we have, in this case, loss of life. And when you have that, there's nothing to do that can make up for that. But the very least we can do is attempt to make sure this never happens again. This is not repeated. We fix the immediate error with the Disney Plus correction. And we provide a remedy for those that are still in danger, still under threat in Afghanistan and that were our allies, right? Whether that's compensation for the families that were uh, that were hurt in this, or whether that's helping those that need to escape, escape and providing those visas that they need to come to the United States. I mean, either way, that's a remedy that would move towards a better solution of this scenario. I agree. And we don't know the individuals out there who they're not in the documentary, but they're related. And because yes. their relative has their face, they're in danger, they're in peril. Um, not good, not good. But we're not here at this point to condemn because this needs to be fixed as quickly as possible. We hope we have put a light on it. We're happy to do so. This pleases us that, that this happened tremendously. Folks, we definitely recommend that you check out Legal Mindset, the YouTube channel, where he had the uh, start of this, of, of bringing it into our sphere for us to know about it. I hope other YouTube channels in our sphere will now follow that. This is this is dire and it needs to have light placed upon it. I also want to thank Mark for sending us the information that allowed us to know about it and brought me uh, into sort of the, the, the circle of understanding what's going on. Folks, if you like content like this, this is an important one. You can do your part by clicking the like button. We really need it. Share, subscribe, click it, stick it to the algorithms. It's the notification bell. And yes, we actually need your comments this time because those comments, they also tell YouTube to send this far and wide. Even if you just need to drop one word, two words, whatever it is, we could use your comments. And folks, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, keep learning, keep growing, keep having fun. And perhaps more importantly, most importantly, be kind to others and care about them deeply.